Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Yifei from University of Washington. This is a work we done uh, last year in Meta, Kodak Avatar Lab. And then we can claim safely and come in a confident way that we have a demo. This is the first one and also the top one, high quality, real navigation of the audio and the video 3D space. Because you have known a lot of nerve and consistency things, they can only reconstruct the 3D scene by a, only for visual side, right? But you can never get immersed with only visual modality. You have to hear something. You have to hear spatial effects. You have to hear the spatial sound. While we don't only consider about the music or the speech, this kind of uh, sound, but we still have a lot of noise like owl vibration. Uh, here's a demo if you want to try it. Yeah, you guys can try it actually. This is a real room. I will. Uh, wait. Sorry, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, um, so let me, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so just directly go to the highlight way. And yeah, okay, so you can try it. Uh, in this room, everything is rendered by neural networks. And then uh, we have a music in this speaker. So in this demo, you will first get closer to the speaker and then you get far away and then you will enter a sub room. In that sub room, you will hear some air conditioner vibration. That's the, so the, you, can, you can check the quality here. Yeah, everything, everything is rendered by neural networks. Nothing is captured. Well, this is not, not enough for getting immersed, right? Yeah, so yeah, do you, uh, do you want me to introduce more on the technical thing? Yeah, definitely explain some yeah. technology. So yeah, yeah, you know, as you can see from the demo, the IO vibration is very hard to, to render. So we propose the way that we solve it is we have sparsely distributed microphone. And instead of we, we learn to how to reconstruct the sound from scratch, we learn how to adapt from the reference recordings to the target, to the target location. Well, the natural question here is, given a room, how can you decide where to put, to put the microphone, right? Because we only have a bunch of 11 microphones, but we have a whole room, right? So how we solve it is we use the simulator, we from simulator to real, and for, from a simulator, we're able to get the panoramic image at each location, and then we have also have an audio simulator, so we're able to get a reverberation effect time, so you can consider it just an acoustic value, and that can ref reflect the acoustic property at that point, and then we use a model to bind the visual, the image, with the acoustic value together. So after we train this model in real, like in real application, so if you want to reconstruct the 3D thing, you will navigate the room, have the video capture, like you will have them. And then after you have the image, you use the model, so you are able to predict the acoustic value at each point. So you are able to get a heat map like that. And then if I tell you, okay, I only have 11 microphones, so I can do a cluster, cluster based on the visual and audio prediction at that point, and we are able to have 11 clusters. So even we don't have any label of the room layout, but we still can figure out, you can see, it's a meaningful partition. Like, you can see there's a, the, the door, the block. So actually, uh, if there's a wall, we actually have two partitions to describe the two regions. So we need to put two microphones to these two regions. So in this way, we can make full use of the limited budget and spread over all the interesting regions. And then after we have the reference recordings, we use a, a network, which is actually a transformer plus a unit structure. We integrate all the reference recordings, give a contribution width of each of them, and then we render, we render given a target location, orientation, we render spatial audio here. So yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the method we do that. Uh, the application scenario for this method is for live streaming, which, you know, for live streaming, people can have the budget to set up all the microphones in the room. Well, uh, and also we have a reference to target model, so that's how we can support the live streaming in VR, because you can really have the audio and audio, audio and video together. Well, in the future, if you want to support some like, normal users like us, we don't have money to, to have 11 microphones in our room, and then uh, we probably can use this, this data to do a pre-training, and then probably we can use this model to like better adapt to normal user room, even though they only have very limited observations. But that's a very far future, but currently it's more uh, suitable for the live streaming thing. So yeah, that's pretty much up there.